Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write python program to find the factorial of a number using recursion so guys the factorial of a number is the product of all the integers from the number 1 up to the number that is entered by the user for which we need to find the factorial now for example the factorial of the number that is 6 it will be 1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4, multiplied by 5, and then multiplied by 6, which is equal to 720, which is the factorial of 6. Similarly, factorial is not defined for the negative numbers, and the factorial of the number that is 0, it is equal to 1, and this is the denotion that we use in order to depict that this is 0 factorial, and it is equal to 1. So guys, how do we find the factorial of a number using recursion? We are going to check in this program. Now, previously, we have seen the Python program in order to find the factorial by using using the for loop so over here we were using the for loop and then with the help of the range function as well we were multiplying all the numbers starting from the number one up to the number that is entered by the user now guys how we can do this using the recursive call we will have to remove these lines of code and then what we have to do is the number that will be entered by the user it will be saved in this number variable and we have to define another function that is factorial and we will get the result inside this variable over here so result it is equal to factorial and then we will pass this variable that is number to this factorial function so over here we are providing the parameter that is number to this factorial function now guys what we have to do is we have to define this function so over here before this code we will use the def keyword in order to define the factorial function so over here we have def keyword followed by the name of the function that is factorial it will take one parameter so over here let's say we provide the parameter name as x so what we have to do is if the number that is x it is equal to 1 then we have to return 1 so over here we will simply check whether x it is equal to 1 and if this is the case then we will just return 1 over here and then guys if it is not equal to 1 what we have to do is we have to use the return keyword and then we will say x multiplied by factorial of x minus 1 this time so let's say if the number it is 2 that is entered over here by the user so it will be equal to 2 multiplied by what we have to find the next number so basically we will be multiplying all the numbers starting from 2 and we will decrement the number 1 at a time up to we reach 1 so over here so if the number that is passed by the user is 2 over here x will get the number as 2 and is x equal to 2 no this time so what we have to do is we have to do 2 multiplied by we need to get the number 1 over here so what we will do is again we will call the factorial function this time but this time we will decrement the number that is x by 1 so over here x minus 1 will be passed so 2 minus 1 is 1 so again the control flow will go over here here and it will check whether x is equal to 1 yes this time so it will return 1 so over here factorial of x minus 1 will be replaced by 1 and x value was 2 so 2 multiplied by 1 will be 2 and that is what will be returned into this result variable and then guys what we can do is simply we can print this result so we can say factorial of entered number we will provide the value of that entered number is and then again we will say curly braces so over here after this we have to provide the dot format function and then first of all we will provide the number that was entered by the user and then the result variable so guys this is the way that we can use the recursive calls over here basically the recursion is nothing but the function calling itself so over here inside this function body that is factorial function we are calling that function again factorial and that is why since we are calling this factorial function from inside of its body this is a recursive call or else we also say that this is recursion so guys let me just save this file now and try running this code so basically we are going to check the same example over here that is factorial of 6 it is equal to 720 so what we can do is enter the number we provide 6 as the number when we press enter factorial of entered number 6 is 720 and then let's say when we provide the number 7 so let me just run this code once again and then over here i'll provide the number 7 and when we press enter it is saying 5040 we can verify this using the calculator as well so for the factorial of the number 6 we have already got the result 720 so we will provide 720 as the number the next number is 7 so we just multiply this number by 7 and then when we press equal to it says 5040 and then let's say when we multiply this number by 8 we should get the factorial of 8 that is 40320 
So let's say we run this code once again over here. This time we provide the number 8. And then when we press enter, it says 40,320. And that is what we have caught in the calculator as well. Now guys, when we provide the number 10, so let's say I run this code once again, we provide the number 10. What will be the factorial of the number 10? Comment in the comment section below. Let us see whether your answer is correct or not. So guys, this is the very easy way in order to implement factorial of a number Python program using the recursive call or recursion. Please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well. The next video that we are going to talk about is Python program to display the multiplication table. So stay tuned.